Once again, you are welcome to the ultimate voyage through the fabric of human existence. Culture Scarps Trekking. Join us as we take you on an exciting journey through times, revealing the secrets of the past, present, and even the mysterious passageways of prehistoric times. As we go across the cosmos and explore the core of human history, culture, and existence, I'm ecstatic to be your guide. The exact structure of neither the Kanjo's unique sim of sun, penetrating and yet peculiar to the Bakanjo, served practical purposes during activities like hunting, enabling them to convey messages across considerable distances. The exclusivity of this communication method within the community showcases the preservation of distinct cultural practices that set the Bakanjo apart from neighboring groups. As the Bakanjo embrace modernization education alongside change societal norms and external education has led to the decline of some rituals, such as the Ohohasa ceremony. However, the resilience of certain traditions among the Bakanjo reflects the complex interplay between preserving cultural heritage and adapting to the evolving dynamics of the world around them. In essence, the Bakanjo people's way of life is a tapestry woven with threads of agriculture, hunting tradition and change, Providing it the delicate balance between delicate balance between mission and mission. Cultural mosaic of this vibrant community in the foothills of the mountains. The birth of a girl child is marked by gifts from fathers with sons, symbolizing interest in the newborn as a potential daughter in law. Education and modernization have gradually shifted these traditions, but remnants persist among the Bakanzo. Known for their adherence to cultural practices, the Bakanjo peoples their husband see with her husband's nephew for the well-being of her husband's men's cultural identity is further enriched by their spiritual beliefs were two supreme beings, Kalaisa and Nyabarika, play integral roles. Kalaisa, depicted as a monster with unique physical attributes, holds significance in the context of hunting, a cherished occupation of the Bakanjo. Nabarika, on the other hand, is believed to possess unparalleled spiritual power, influencing aspects as healing, fertility, and expeditions. The connections. Connection the Bakanjo maintain with their natural surroundings. The elaborate rituals associated with hunting among the Bakanjo reflect not only a means of sustenance, but a profound cultural practice. The use of spears, nets, bows, and arrows, coupled with the involvement of dogs, showcases the sophistication of their hunting techniques. The communal aspect of hunting troops, including offerings of protected angry spirits, as a layer of rinse against against angry to this age old practice. The Bakanjo's agricultural practices also embody a harmonious relationship with the land. The cultivation of crops such as matok, yams, and cassava sustains the community's nutritional needs 
While the introduction of cash crops like coffee and cotton reflects adaptation to changing economic landscapes, the coexistence of agriculture and animal husbandry and the resilience of their community, the practice of the social fabric of Bakanjo society, While some traditions, like the exchange of gifts to signify interest in a newborn girl, have evolved with time, others, such as the emphasis on circumcision as a rite of passage, remain deeply entrenched. The complexities of marriage negotiations, including bride wealth obligations and the rare occurrence of divorce, Reveal the importance station have undoubtedly influenced a Bakanjo Lianti, altering traditional communication methods. However, the enduring presence of age, old customs, the continued reverence for spiritual beings, and the preservation of unique forms of communication demonstrate the community's commitment to maintaining its cultural heritage amidst the currents of change. In conclusion, the Bakanjo people present a captivating cultural narrative shaped by the interplay to adapt to external influence of their identity, plenty influences while preserving highlights the dynamic nature of their cultural heritage. As the Bakanjo navigate the challenges of a changing world, their rich tapestry of traditions remains a testament to the resilience and vitality of this unique community in the mountainous terrain of East Africa. Education and modernization have influenced the decline of some among the Bakanzo, who continue to preserve elements of their rich cultural elements of their rich cultural heritage, including initiation ceremonies that mark the transition from childhood to adulthood. Belief in two supreme beings, Kalesa and Nyabarika, underscores the spiritual aspect of their culture. Shrines dedicated to these beings were constructed on the slopes of the Ronzori Mountain, reflecting the importance of hunting and offerings in Bakanjo society. Hunting was a central activity providing both sport and sustenance. Skilled hunters and protectionals Thurrits, thurrits, whistling, a unique method understood only within families, providing messages during activities such as hunting. As agriculturalists, the Bakanjo cultivate crops such as matoke, yams, potatoes, cassava, and beans, supplemented by coffee and cotton cultivation. Goats, sheep, and fowls are also reared, and the community initially relied on subsistence production. The Bakanjo people, the Bakanjo people, the Jishe, the Bakanjo people, intricately woven into the fabric of their daily lives, revealing a harmonious coexistence with the mountainous landscape they call home. Their spiritual beliefs, anchored by the reverence for two supreme beings, Kalaisa and Nyabarika, serve as a guiding force in both practical and ritualistic aspects of their existence. The construction of shrines dedicated to these deities on the slopes of the Renzori Mountains signifies a deep, Rooted connection between, between the Bakanjo Vaishan, the Bakanjo people's sustenance. It is a cultural ceremony, 
a communal endeavor, and a spiritual engagement. The use of traditional instruments such as spears, nets, bows, and arrows, coupled with the involvement of dogs, underscores the sophistication of their hunting techniques. The communal hunting troops, governed by established rules and rituals, emphasize the collective nature and underscore the sacrifices offered to collide into the fabric of the identities. Identity is intricately woven into the fabric of their daily lives revealing a harmonious coexistence with the mountainous landscape they call home. Their spiritual beliefs, anchored by the reverence for two supreme beings, Kalaisa and Nyabarika, serve as a guiding force in both practical and ritualistic aspects of their existence. The construction of shrines dedicated to these deities on the slopes of the Renzori Mountains signifies a deep, rooted connection between the Bukhais and the Fais and the Ritsum, beyond a mere means of sustenance. It is a cultural ceremony, a communal endeavor, and a spiritual engagement. The use of traditional instruments such as spears, Nets, bows, and arrows, coupled with the involvement of dogs, underscores the...